Hello and welcome to D93 News. Sam, we have a lot to tell everyone about, and our top story comes from the naming committee for the new high school. That's right, Phil. After collecting over 2,200 suggestions, a district-wide committee of parents and students narrowed the list of suggestions down to four high school names and mascots. As a community member, we would love to hear your input on the suggested names and mascots for the high school. We have attached a link to the survey in the caption below. The survey will remain open through Sunday, October 23rd. Well, last week, Sam, it was parent-teacher conference week, and it, this was a great opportunity to see how your kids are doing in school. Well, the Sand Creek Student Council took advantage of this as well. They went out and they put together a raffle with baskets. Each basket had a specific theme, and the raffle tickets were just 25 cents, and you could buy five of those for just a dollar. Wow, raffle. Well, there is a new club in town and is taking one of our schools by storm. Mountain Valley students are staying after school on Tuesdays, but not for detention, but for fun. And so fifth and sixth grade, anybody that wants to come and play some sports after school, during the winter time, we'll be inside playing basketball, volleyball, any other fun sport, just to get the kids having fun instead of sitting in front of a TV. Well, speaking of fun, the second annual Beat the Cheap race took place last week. There were two races, one for kindergarten through third grade, and then one for the older students. Principal Cheap decided to run both races. Uh, we're just having a race to beat the principal. They get uh, bragging rights for the year and a t-shirt if they beat me. Um, and it just gets them out, gets them active, gets them to enjoy running a little bit, so we enjoy that. Well, teachers, faculty, and staff, Boise State University is hosting a Teacher Appreciation Day, and they are offering special discounted tickets for their upcoming game on November 4th against San Jose State. Now, that's a Friday night game. You can find more information about this in your email inbox. Well, that sounds like fun. The annual Southeast Idaho College Fair is happening from 5 to 8 p.m. on Wednesday at Skyline High School. Middle and high school students and their parents are encouraged to attend the event, which features representatives from dozens of state, regional, and regional colleges and universities and technical schools. There will also be these really cool breakout sessions uh, with such topics as financing your education, next steps, and advanced opportunities. The Southeast Idaho College Fair rotates between our district and D91 and last year it was held at Hillcrest. It was a great showing at Hillcrest last year and a lot of fun, a lot of good information there. Well, several months ago we joined students from Sand Creek at the Idaho Falls Library as they prepared for the National History Day. Well, their preparation paid off. Emily Bidolf, Ashley Cannon, and Abby Barnes helped lead the team to a state championship and a trip to our nation's capital. Oh, I'm so proud of those girls. They did a phenomenal job. You got to start the journey with us last fall at the library. So you have pictures of those girls as they started their process and now you get to see the end result. How well they spoke, they spoke well, they spoke coherently and, and they're confident in what they did. Catherine Weeks represented Rocky Mountain Middle School at the event. Shifting gears to sports, presented by your local Grease Monkey, the Hillcrest Knights are your district soccer champs. The Knights defeated the Bees to advance to state. Bonneville is also going to the state tournament. They took care of business in their play-in game on Saturday. Bonneville is slated to play Coeur d'Alene, and Hillcrest will play Rocky Mountain High School. Both games are scheduled for Thursday morning in Post Falls. Now from football to football, many of you might be wondering what the chances are for the Bees and Knights to make the state playoffs. Only one can make it, and they are competing with Rigby for the final 5A playoff spot. Hillcrest can get in if they beat Highland at Thunder Stadium Friday night and Bonneville beats Rigby. If they lose to Highland, Bonneville can get in by beating Rigby by at least 13 points, which leads to a Kansas City playoff. Gotta love the Kansas City playoff. Now, the Kansas City playoff would take place at a neutral site on October 24th. So long story short, the Bees and Knights both have a chance to get in and they could really use your support Friday night. We'll get you up to speed in the Grease Monkey pregame show. It's also district tournament time for our volleyball teams. Bonneville is hosting that tournament because they earned the top seed. Hillcrest is the third seed and if everything goes like we hope it does, there will be another civil war on the volleyball court Thursday afternoon with the winner advancing to the district championship game later that night. Wow, that's a lot of information. Lots of sports going on. Lots of sports. A lot a lot going on with our fine arts as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we were down in Pocatello yes. on Saturday, and they, they sounded tremendous. Awesome. It was great. Yep. So a lot happening. It's an honor to bring those uh, stories to you every, every week in that's D93 right. News. Well, that's, that's right. going to do it for us. We'll see you next time.